I am selling a used SAB Mini Comet helicopter. It has a total of 11 flights. It did suffer from a tip over after landing on flight number seven, and that damaged the original main blades and the canopy. But this helicopter has been flying fine since the rebuild. I replaced both the canopy and the main blades with brand new ones. Now I did not see any damage on the head, but I went ahead and replaced the main shaft, the spindle shaft, the O-ring dampeners, and the head bearings, uh, just to be on the safe side. Let me take out the canopy. The canopy, again, it has about four flights on it, but uh, it has uh, honestly not a single scratch or blemish on it. It, it looks, it looks and feels brand new. There are, uh, however, some nicks uh, on the uh, mainframe. There's uh, one nick right there, second one. Those are the two obvious ones. Uh, maybe some scratches here. I mean, you see it on a certain way with the light. Uh, and there is one crack right there. It's a uh, minor and it does not affect uh, the structural soundness of the uh, mainframe, uh, but it is there. Uh, uh, I upgraded uh, several parts to the aluminum version. I upgraded the uh, motor uh, pulley. Uh, so you can see it in the lights, got the red one. I also upgraded the uh, main uh, blade grips, upgraded the the front and the rear servo mounts, and I also upgraded the uh, tail bell crank to the aluminum version. Uh, the uh, motor, that is the competition motor, and then that, that comes stock with the, uh, uh, with the Mini Comet, uh, unlike the uh, Fireball that I believe it comes with the, uh, the non-competition motor, but this is the competition motor. The uh, sale, um, I will include the plastic uh, components that I upgraded to aluminum, All right? Uh, it's, a, it's a motor um, pulley, the servo mounts, the bell crank, and, and the blade grips. And the main blades, uh, they, they really uh, uh, look and feel brand new. Uh, there are uh, no uh, scuff marks, neither on the top of the blade, nor uh, on the bottom of the blade either. Okay, they really look brand new. Now the um, uh, tail blades, they do have uh, some scuff marks that are kind of hard to see with the, let's see if we get the lighting just right. I believe you can see there's some scuff marks, uh, but they do not affect uh, uh, the flight or uh, structural uh, integrity in any way. The uh, sale also includes uh, other accessories to include the uh, manual and uh, also includes the, um, uh, the swash leveler and a few other components. I guess there's the, um, uh, the Allen wrenches uh, some extra hardware, there's uh, stickies, uh, there's uh, Velcro, and, uh, and then uh, more miscellaneous uh, hardware here. Uh, something I forgot to mention is the uh, sale also includes the SAB uh, uh, micro servo uh, arms, and there's uh, uh, three of them. So this will you know, give you the uh, proper uh, head geometry when you use uh, whatever micro servo of choice. The one thing that the sale does not include is the ESC. I actually am using the ESC for another project, uh, but uh, the sale does include the, um, the um, uh, connectors. Uh, uh, so basically you can uh, uh, unsolder uh, these connectors and Resolder them on the your ESC of uh, choice, so at least you have uh, matching connectors to the motor connectors.
Now the, the helicopter, uh, since the rebuild, uh, it has about four flights uh, on it. Uh, one of the flights by, uh, was by a professional pilot and he just told me to make some adjustments on the flyerless unit, uh, but that the helicopter was otherwise uh, mechanically uh, sound, no, no issues with it. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching.